Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube. Run the thumbs up on this video and good morning to get your day started. The quote heard around the world happened yesterday on February 7th after signing day. It came from Alabama offensive coordinator Ryan Grubb during a speaking engagement with the Red Elephant Club. In quote, he says, I'm Ryan Grubb. I'm your new offensive coordinator. That basically broke down the internet. Everybody talking about the big quote coming out from Alabama's offensive coordinator. I want to hear from you inside the comment box. When you heard this quote from Ryan Grubb, what did you think? And how happy did it make you about having Ryan Grubb as the offensive coordinator here at the University of Alabama? Now, we've seen the Seahawks starting to target Chip Kelly for their offensive coordinator position, and we are still waiting for the official contracts to be released regarding the Alabama football coaches, along with head football coach Kalen DeBoer. Other news across college football. Nick Saban is coming back to college football as a coach. No, he is going to be joining Game Day and ESPN. Now, Coach Saban will play a variety of roles working for ESPN. He'll be joining today, and he will appear in NFL Draft and SEC Media Day's coverage. Coach Saban has always had a good relationship with ESPN. Um, and, of course, he uh, has a really good relationship with reporter Chris Lowe and also with Reese Davis, who he gave his retirement interview to. Um, it's reported kind of behind the scenes that Coach Saban inked a deal with ESPN for close to $20 million per year. Those aren't official, but that's kind of what's out there. Let me know what you think about Coach Saban joining College Game Day. I'm excited to see it. Already kind of more interested about College Game Day uh, with Coach Saban being a part of the staff. And who do you think that Coach Saban will replace from that staff? I want to hear from you inside the comment box about Coach Saban joining ESPN. Now, yesterday was signing day, and Alabama added three more to its roster from the class of 2024. You had Noah Carter coming in, who is a four-star. You had QB Reese out of Birmingham, and then you had... The five-star plus Ryan Williams signed with the Crimson Tide. Probably the most heavily coveted prospect out of the state of Alabama ever. He's a two-time defending Mr. Football Award winner. Think about this. He won Mr. Football in the state of Alabama when he was 15 and when he was 16 years old. He reclassified from 2025 to 2024. You've seen his highlights. So have I. Guy looks like a day one impact player. And getting him to sign, I think, says a lot about Kalen DeBoer and his recruiting philosophy and kind of the message that it sends to the world of college football. Think about the two guys to first sign for Coach Kalen DeBoer. You have Noah Carter and you have Ryan Williams, right? You also add on QB Reese. So Alabama in total um, put together a very strong class of 2024 and is actually ranked number two on on three. Williams, Carter, and Reese joined 23 high school signees from the fall signing period. Ten states overall, Alabama, 11 from this class, California 2, Florida 2, Texas 2, Arizona 1, Georgia 1, Mississippi 1, Missouri 1, North Carolina 1, Pennsylvania 1, Tennessee 1, along with Germany and Canada. Now, I have a trivia question for you inside the comment box, okay? So as you start the morning, is there another player from the state of Arizona that came to Alabama, um, I guess, ever? I asked the, the undefeated earlier, which is our chat box. They weren't able to come up with one. So we are looking for um, the prospect from Arizona to come to play for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Moving to the hardwood, um, Alabama basketball lost to Auburn on Wednesday night, 99-81. to It was Alabama's second loss in SEC play. They dropped to 16-7 and and 8-2 and overall. Auburn is also 8-2 and in SEC play. Alabama just shot 37% from the field, while Auburn, get this, shot 50 free throws, making 40 of those. 50 free throws in the game. Bama's Mark Sears led the team with 25 points. Alabama back in action, taking on LSU on Saturday in Baton Rouge. I appreciate you guys being here. We look forward to you joining us today on Thursday during our live coverage. Run the thumbs up on these videos. We appreciate you guys being here. Coming to you from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Kyle Henderson, Bama Football on YouTube.